welcome to my channel and we're here playing Dark Souls Remastered uh, because this is easily my favorite game and I want to kick things off right on this channel now all this is very new to me so <laughs> sorry if um, I make some beginner mistakes this is like the tenth time re-recording just this opening scene because I've been bumbling and stammering, stammering my words <laughs> just like that so um, rather than do this a hundred times let's just get into it already. Um, gonna take you through the whole journey. Um, yeah, so the first step is creating your character. Uh, my name is going to be the channel name, of course. Uh, sex, I am a guy, so let's do that. Um, class is going to be the warrior. Um, I will get into what our plan is going to be, but warrior is going to suit us best. Uh, gift, this is what you start the game with. Now, normally you want to take the master key. Trust me, this thing is going to make your life a lot easier. But I'm going to go with the old witch's ring. We'll get a little bit more lore that way. Uh, physique, let's be... Oh, I don't know. Uh, tiny head is funny. Large lower body, looking real thick. Um, just go with average. Uh, so for face, now... Something fun you can do is that you can pick any of the one faces, go with Dragon's Collar. Then if you go to Customize, and you go to Create Similar Face, you yank this all the way up, and then you just jam this a bunch, you can get some really grotesque looking fellas. So, um, this is one red boy. I don't know if we want to do this, but go for a few more. Yeah, now you can really crank this, and if you really mess around in these settings, you can make some really hideous monsters. But uh, we're not going to do that, we're just going to be red. I kind of like this actually, he's uh, growing on me. But we're not even going to look at his face too much as we play, so it really doesn't matter that much. Um, so for the hair, we've got a few options here. Um, again, like... <laughs> I'm probably going to be wearing a helmet, so we won't be seeing it too much, but Bobbed is one of my favorites. Just looks a lot like the, uh, anyone who played Maple Story back in the day, this was like the premiere, like, bad hair. <laughs> there was this quest where normally you have to pay to do your hair, but if you got unlucky, there's this, um, okay, not if you're unlucky, <laughs> not yet. There's this one quest where you can get a free hair change token, but it's a random one. And oftentimes, if you're unlucky, you get the ugly acorn hair, and you ruin what was a cool character. But um, that was back in the early days of 2007, 2008 MapleStory. Uh, now it's a lot easier these days. But anyway, before we get too off topic, we're playing Dark Souls, not Maple Story. So enough of that. We have our character, or my Kality, or the warrior with the old witch's ring. Um, our stats are those numbers, as you can see. I will get into a lot of these things, trust me. But for now, let's, uh, let's get started with the opening cutscenes. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees and everlasting dragons but then there was fire and with fire came disparity heat and cold life and death and of course Light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito. The first of the day.
the Witch of Isolin, and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. and with that we're back in control um, now if you have not played Dark Souls before and all that was a bit much to take in trust me I know but at the same time we're gonna get to it uh, in the meantime I figure we'll just take it one step at a time now I don't want to dilly daddle too much I do want us to sort of get along here um, if it's your first time playing you definitely want to read all these but these messages are just gonna tell you the basics you know like RB to attack and uh, then they want you to kill this poor defenseless guy here, which I'll do, but I'll leave that guy over there. Um, now, if I'm a little Easter egg, you can come over here and you can uh, say hello to the demon. He won't say hi back. But uh, yeah, so how is this playthrough going to go? Um, well, like I said, I'm going to do my best to sort of explain things, but I don't want to, you know, go over every little tiny detail there is. Um, I want this to be a mix between uh, these two playthroughs that I love on YouTube. Uh, one is From the Dark by Epic Name Bro, 
and to me that is just the perfect Dark Souls Let's Play. It goes over all the details, all the lore, showcases a lot of the items, real great. Um, and then another one called A Purist's Guide to Dark Souls Character Building. And I forget the name of the channel off the top of my head. Um, I will plug both of them, but he goes over how to quickly, you know, run through the game. Not exactly in a speed run way, but in like a, you know, you're hurrying or long. You know, you're not stopping some other runs. This is going to be something in between. That's what I'm going for. Um, so up there, we can see a demon similar to what we saw below. Um, and then normally for an unsuspecting player, you read this and oh god. Um, now we can oh god. Uh, waste too much time. Uh, once. Oh, god. Okay, this is going badly already. Um. Oh, man. Please don't die. <laughs> so, this is where you want to go. Um, in there. And I just realized my problem is that I am wearing too much stuff. Uh, I don't even need this thing. Uh, so. Let me fast roll. Yeah, okay. So, that's my first tip, I would say, is make sure you can fast roll, because in the first games, you know. When you're, as you saw before, I was rolling really slow. Rolling is a very important action. It's how you avoid enemy attacks. And it's possible to beat the game without rolling, but it's very difficult. Oh, and bonfires. I didn't talk about these. So these are the checkpoints in the game, right? You sit down at them, and they restore your health, and it's ready to spawn if you die. Um, and then over here, as you can see, with these glowing bodies um, are items where you can pick things up. So we found a shield there. This is a heater shield, which um, is really ugly, but it's pretty good actually. As you can see, we can hold it up, and he can't do anything. Uh, he's gonna run away. And up ahead, we're gonna find ourselves a longsword. Um, this is just your basic standard weapon. Um, I guess I could show some of these descriptions, right? So if you go over the item, press X a few times, boom, we get a description. I'm not going to read every little description in the game. Like I said, guys, I don't want this to take too long, but, you know, anything cool, I'll show you. Um, so as you can see, I mean, like I said, you know, I'm trying to be speedy, but I'm also talking about a lot of basics. So for the new people, I'm hoping this is helpful, but for a lot of you veterans, you know, come on, <laughs> what am I doing here? Now, I know that, you know, these are the basics. You know, you're going to know these things, but keep in mind that we want this to be an accessible playthrough. We don't want um, any important information to slip past people. Uh, but, you know, even if you are a veteran, hopefully you can learn something new there. Um, so what I just did there, that's how you want to activate that boulder. Normally, you'll run up and just get in a face full of it, knock you down. It won't kill you, but you'll feel dumb. But anyway, in here, we're going to find that guy that uh, helped us out before by giving us that body with a key. So let's uh, see what he has to say. You. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make it pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Very, very important item. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Alrighty. Thanks for that, dude. So yeah, XT's item. Um, as you can see, this is how we heal. And <laughs> given the nature of Dark Souls, we're going to be doing a lot of that. Um, yeah, he just killed himself. For reasons I will explain at some point, but first I'm going to explain this. Uh, this is a shortcut, as you can see. We're back out here. Um, one more important feature of bot fires is when you reset them, you get your uh, essence flask back. Um, there's going to be a lot more options with them too, but they're not available yet because we're still in the tutorial world. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, you know what? I don't want to get totally naked, so I'm just going to 
I'm gonna mid roll for you guys. We're gonna see how that goes. Uh, mid rolling's not too bad. Uh, it's when you're fat rolling, which is when you have full e full equipment, is when you're gonna have a bad time. Now, if you account for it and use really heavy armor, it's not so bad. But I don't have that, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna try mid rolling. Um, as you can see too, I can also sprint here, um, which is we're gonna do a lot of running as well. And so combat, yeah, combat, this is what Dark Souls is all about, right? So as you can see, I've been doing this, like, you know, slushy slash move. There's also a strong attack and a fast attack. And that's your bread and butter in the game. Uh, we've got a few more weapons in our arsenal, uh, one of which is the jumping attack, which is a little tricky to do. You have to, like, press forward and a strong attack at the same time. But, you know, not too bad. So hold down that to raise your shield. Very important to block. And finally, we have the... Oh, <laughs> Finally, we have... Okay, okay. Come on, work with me, work with me. Oh, no. Okay, okay. We're gonna get it this time. There we go, that's the parry. So, a little rusty, guys. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, the parry is... You know, you do, like, a little deflect like that. It'll... You do it when you, an attack is incoming. And then you can uh, do a repost, which is when, you know, you run up on them and hit them hard. So, what do we got here? Uh, this is the fog wall. Now, most of the time, this is going to mean that there's a boss on the other side. Um, not always, but this time it does. And so let's go through. And we're going to face that guy from before, but this time we'll be a little more well-armed. So let's do a little jumping attack off. Oh, yeah, big damage. Plunging attacks, great way to do damage. Also, let's make a little distance for ourselves, because this guy's got a lot of reach. Now, if I lock on like this, it'll allow me to, you know... I can move and I'll keep looking at him. Uh, you don't always want to do this. Personally, I don't always like it. But in this case, ooh. I'll uh, showcase it for a little bit. Now, big bosses like this, they do so much damage that usually it's not even worth using your shield. So I'm going to two hand my weapon here. And ooh. as you can see, this is the strategy of Dark Souls. Just roll when they attack, you don't take damage, and then, oh god, well, that is if you <laughs> don't mess it up like me. And then, while the enemy is recovering, you do counter damage. And there we go. Easy, easy, easy. Well, <laughs> I did take some damage. There's definitely people better than me. But, um, yeah, I can beat the game, guys. Trust me. <laughs> Um, so we got some rewards there, most importantly the big pilgrim key, that's going to let us go through here. And this is the way out of the tutorial. Now there's a few things for us to pick up. Um, good job, yeah. One of which is up here. Um, I think there's actually only just this, thi just this thing to pick up. A little lost soul. Um, you know, this being a dark souls, souls are pretty important. That's that number in the bottom right over there, and it's essentially the currency of the game. You'll use it to level up, upgrade your weapons, all that good stuff. And uh, here we got a cutscene. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Here we are at Fire Link Shrine. This is a very iconic part of the game. It's essentially the um, central hub, safe zone. It's where everyone sort of chills, and it connects a lot of parts of the game. Um, we got a lot of options and places we can go. 
However, we are nearing the end of the time of the video. Um, this guy over there, I suppose we can talk to him first real quick. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> So yeah, so to sort of touch on what he's getting at, you know, we're, we're the chosen undead. Um, you know, exactly what it means to be undead. There's a lot of lore there, but basically just means we're, when we die, we come back to life at a bonfire. Um, we're going to learn why that is, why we're trying to do things that we got to do, but essentially part of the prophecy is we got to go ring some bells or something like that. So one's up there, one's down below, uh, and we are definitely going to ring them, but guys that's gonna be it for now uh, next time we are gonna begin our journey uh, I'm not gonna just rush up right away I'm gonna show you guys where all the cool starting loot is because that's the cool thing about Dark Souls is that you can do a lot of sequence breaking and just run to wherever you want and just get yourself loaded up for a playthrough and um, yeah there's a lot of important places I recommend hitting up and we'll be getting into that soon but for now, that's going to be it. Guys, thank you for watching. I've been wanting to do a Let's Play for quite a while, and I'm glad that I was able to kick it off on a pretty good note here. So with that, I will stop rambling, and uh, yeah. So long!